Um, hey, it's James. Um, you know, we're talking about the death of John Lennon today. You know, with WNW and um, unbelievable because, of course, I grew up listening to Scott Meany. I knew Scott Meany, Scott. You know, and um, I even threw my beer at the Harry Chapin Mission Haven concert. Um, well, then where was that? Um, that was um, uh, Brooklyn, a wonderful concert. I'm sure it was because Scott was a really cool guy. You know, and um, you know, it was like a family. The old W and Stella Mirror were on there too. But you know what? Um, the news broke in 1979. I think it was uh, December 8th, and um, yeah, John Lennon got shot. Holy crap! You know, I was in the service at that point. A U.S. Naval veteran. You know me. I'm a, well. You know me. And um, I was home on leave, and um, oh my God, it's like. I had my little AM radio going, and I had my little, uh, we have a car coming fast, hold on, I had my little AM radio going, and uh, I'm listening to WNW, uh, I forgot who the broadcaster was, W. you can look it up on YouTube, we interrupt this program, wow, how about that, I used to walk past John's house all the time, I used to see him. And, and, hey, John, how's it going? And that's the way he was. And all of a sudden, the world changed. Isn't that unbelievable? Yeah, I know. And um, it's beyond that, huh? I mean, and now we live in the culture of death. You know, in 1995, uh, Pope John Paul was said we live in the culture of death. But we certainly, that was the good old days, huh? And I know it's bad. I mean, John Lennon, who the hell wants, who the heck? Wants to kill John Lennon, but they did. Hey, John, uh, thanks for the lithograph I got from you. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I, I think I, I even wore his glasses from England. Well, one pair. They were expensive. We went to the same doctor. <laughs> anyway, you know, unbelievable. I mean, and so we're sitting there talking about memories of John Lennon, you know, and, um, and it's coming up, and uh, wow, isn't that something? Imagine those are people, you know, oh my God, it's horrible. Absolutely awful. But this is what we live in. And uh, listen, I, I'm really kind of touched about this. And uh, I wish Scott Meany was around now, you know, because we could talk about that. And, and Howard Stern, I don't know about him. I don't like him at all. You know that. Howie. You know, Howard, you know, well, you know that. W N E W. You know, it'll be on my show coming up. Anyway, Q105 one point, yeah, Q105 Tampa Bay. And, um, yeah, we're going to be up there, and um, we're going to do a simulcast, and we're going to cover the uh, death of John Lennon. Yeah, unbelievable. I, I don't know. You know when, that, when that news broke, I, I don't know. And the world is like, who would want to kill John Lennon? I've been playing this music since I was 12 years old. I was born in 1961. Since 73, I've been playing John Lennon's music. And the Beatles, of course. And I still do. My favorite album is The Wood Album. You know that. Yeah, and, but you know what? I, God help us. And you know what? Those were, those were the good old days. They're not the good old days. But it seemed like the world changed. And... God bless John Lennon and Yoga Ono. They made fun of Yoga Ono. Didn't you know that? Because she's in a wheelchair. I'm in a wheelchair right now. I certainly am. It's my mom's wheelchair. I'm just having to have a chair. Oh, she's old. TMZ. Really? It's Yoga. Anyway, uh, by the way, Sean, give me a call. You know my number. He's a great kid. He's a great kid. And uh, so is Julian. And, uh, and by the way, he's a highly underestimated musicians. I know I'm tired and look, I, I got Bell's palsy and all that stuff, you know. And um, but you know, um, anyway, why don't we did? What, what do you think? What do you think your favorite John Lennon song is? A song, rather. Oh my God, I'm really choked up. I'm sorry about that. Who knows how much? I know. I'm Paul. I can do. Oh, jeez, unbelievable. Unbelievable, and, and you know, I, I guess Cindy Lauper could do a better job than here right now. But you know, remember, John Lennon, I mean, and God bless, and we're going to have, this is actually 
before you know the anniversary, and his head choked up, and well, set it out, and you know, well, my God, and unbelievable. Yeah. Well, I do some John Lennon, of course, of course I do. Uh, plenty of it, especially the White Album. I like the White Album. I mean, for the benefit of Mr. Kite, of course that wasn't it. There will be a show tonight on trampoline. I love that song. The Hendersons will all be there. I mean, unbelievable. Strawberry Fields Forever. Yeah, great. Let me take minute number 59. Read it, do it, and what's happening is another song. Okay, and John Lennon. I don't really care for too much for imagine. It's called nihilism. Nihilism. That's what it's called uh, philosophically. And it's not really, I think, you know, and keep on playing those mind games, huh? That's what I'm doing right now, huh? John Lennon. Okay, WNW, and uh, guess what? I, I, uh, you know, we're gonna we're gonna talk to a lot of people, including Cindy Lauper and a few others uh, who were there. You know, and, and we'll plant some strawberries there in Central Park. And thank you. And um, again, James. And my number is uh, uh, well, I forgot my number. What is it? Oh, my number is uh, one eight one three nine hundred five seven. Sick. Oh, wait a minute. What the hell's the number again? Why well, have toll charges applied? Uh, 1 813 um, 900. I have to pay money for the number. Um, 5745. 1 800. Well, no, I really. 5740. You can't figure it out? You better. Comedy with James at uh, gmail.com. And uh, let's get it on. It is, you know. And uh, keep on playing those mind games. With this little mind game, we're talking about John Lennon. And, it does look, and don't forget to email me your comments. Comedy with James at gmail.com. And we're going to be fine. Thank you very much. And God bless us all, huh?